Okay, so uh, we're on part four of our video here, and so far what we've done is we've set up a GUI version of our to-do list. Um, right now it's not quite working exactly as we planned it, like add task, uh, we have some default tasks, they appear, we can delete them all, we can sort them descending, we can sort them ascending, choose a random item and have it appear up here. Okay, we can get the number of tasks and have it appear up here. Uh, we can delete all, and then now we're done. So what we want to do now uh, is basically the last two functions uh, is adding a task and deleting a, a task. So you know we know how to add things to a list, uh, hopefully, and if not, we use something called the append method. Uh, we know how to remove things from a list. Okay, so. Um, so we use either, what is it? Yeah, remove, um, not delete. So we remove things from the list. So the question is, you know, how do we tell the computer, you know, take this information and add it, or when we delete something, we're going to select it. So how do we know what's been selected? So we have to learn a little bit about GUI stuff to, to do that. Okay, so let's start with adding, because that's uh, probably the easier one. So we're going to go to my function, so add a task. Now I've already got update list box here. So I'm going to put that at the bottom, because that's going to be the last thing. Uh, so once we add something. So what we have to do uh, is get the information from the text entry widget. Okay, And so, so I'm going to get the task to add. So whatever I've entered in there. So task that we want to add equals, so it's I'm not sure what we call that. The uh, let me just check the, the name of it. Yep, text input. So equals text input dot get. So this will get whatever is in that input thing. Uh, so then we want to append append it to the list. List. So that's tasks.append task. Now notice we don't need to make it global. If we're using the method, we don't have to make it global. We can just leave it as it is, which I find quite interesting. So let's try this out and see what happens. OK. So add task. So I'm going to say take a nap. So add task. Yeah, we got a little extra one there. That was because I just pushed add task and it was blank. Um, now, so let's see, read a book, so add task. So you can see how it's adding it uh, to the list, and the list is, then we're updating the list box based on what's in the list. Now, if this is blank, and I click add a task, then I try to add a new task, um, study, notice it's leaving a space. Okay, so we, d we really don't want that to happen. Okay, so, so we've gotten the basic stuff. We know how to get the task information out of the, the input box. We know how to append it. But what we want to do is make sure that there's actually something there first. So make sure the task is not empty. That just makes it look bad. So what we do is we say if task does not equal blank, then I can... Oops, Append it. Okay. So, and let's, let's add a little bit there. So else, so if it is blank, else, tell the user. So label display text equals please enter a task. So let's Try that out one time. So let's say take a nap, add a task. Okay. Now let me delete that. If I click add task, it says please enter a task. So study. Okay. So there's no blank spaces there. And the last thing we want to do is I want to delete this because uh, you know once you add it, you're probably not going to add the same task twice. So basically we do text. Input 
delete. And we gotta use zero, oops, zero, comma, and so delete from the, the zeroth character, which is the first one until the last character. So let's try it. Take the nap. Add task. There we go. Um, so now this is clear and we can enter a new task. So that's about that. Um, so take a look at that code. So basically, again, we get the task, so we make a little string variable. We use the get method on the uh, text entry widget. We check to see if it is blank or not. If it's not blank, we append the new task to the list, and then we update the list box. Otherwise, we tell the user, hey, you need to enter a task. And then we delete the contents of the input box. You just got to think it through, like step by step, logically, what should happen. Yeah. Deleting one. And this is our pretty much our last one. And this is, a, again, it's kind of a GUI thing. So what we got to do is get the text of the currently selected item. Okay, so let me show you over here in our example, our finished example. So basically, let's say I want to, I bought a guitar. So I click on that, I want to delete it. So I click on that. So this is the currently selected item. I hit delete. And it deletes it. So there's nothing. Oh, so now if I delete, it just deletes it from the end. Um, but originally, what it did was it did the ones that I selected. Okay, so oops, let's put that back over here. So to do that, we use something. Uh, where's that? The get active method. So I'm going to go to task. So this is the task that we want to delete. Tasks. Dot get, and we want to get the active. Items. That's whatever I've clicked on. So we need to confirm it's in the list. So if task in tasks tasks dot remove task. So I'm going to remove whatever task came from the GUI and then update the list box. Let's give that a shot. Oops, got a quote there. Okay, so add tasks. Oh, please enter tasks. So take a nap. Okay, so let's say I want to delete eat sushi. Delete. Goodness, it deleted eat sushi, not anything else. So I delete buy guitar. Okay. Um, so let's see, study hard, add task, so we'll let me add our task. So that's basically it. So we've, we've gone through, uh, we've created our GUI, we've created our buttons, we've created our functions, uh, we've learned how to you know, take the selection from here, we've learned how to get information out of here, we've learned how to put information into here, how to delete this. Uh, and we got one more lesson, uh, actually, we're, talk about how to change the arrangement of this to make it look a lot more nice and compact. Uh, but for now, that's the basic functionality, and uh, you'll give that a shot. And the bell has rung. End of period two.